Welcome back, I'm Nick from OpenTrons, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the initial setup and some of the basic liquid handling features of the OT2, your personal, high-precision pipetting robot. Positional calibration is the first step to using the OT2, making sure the robot can accurately move the pipettes through space. The robot is precise down to 0.1 millimeters in X, Y, and Z. So how does it do that? When the robot first arrives at your lab, it needs an initial deck calibration. This helps account for any small variation usually caused in shipping or in moving the robot onto the bench. To perform the deck calibration, you just need to move the robot to four different positions on the deck using the arrow keys on your computer. The OT2 is a quick learner. After that, you'll do a pipette and tip calibration to teach the OT2 about the specifics of the pipette and tip combinations you're using. All in all, you'll be ready to run your first protocol from about 10 to 15 minutes when you first power it on the robot. Then, when you've loaded everything onto the deck and you're ready to run your first protocol, you'll need to do an initial labware calibration to teach the OT2 where each piece of labware sits on the deck. This takes another 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the complexity of your protocol. It's that easy! Once the robot is calibrated for a protocol, there's no need to recalibrate before every run. Just click start and the robot takes care of the rest. The OT2 is also a terrific multitasker. It can do multi-dispensing to distribute a volume into multiple wells. It can multi-aspirate, picking up from multiple wells and dispensing it all into a single well or tube. If you're doing serial dilutions, cherry picking, or plate filling, you can incorporate a CSV file. If you're comfortable with the Python scripting language, you can build the CSV directly into your protocol code. Or if not, our application engineering team is always available to help. In fact, your robot can be programmed to do just about anything that you can do by hand, and some things that you can't, like pipetting at a wide range of different flow rates. Let me cover a few of the special features that the OT2 has for maximum flexibility. Just like you do by hand, the OT2 can touch the tip to get excess liquid off the pipette. It can also handle air gaps to lock liquid in the tip and prevent dripping. It can do blowouts, pushing extra air through the tip to ensure it's entirely empty. It can also do pipette mixing, aspirating and dispensing in sequence to fully homogenize the well contents. And the best part is that the OT2 is fast. It can fill a 96 well plate in just about 20 seconds with an 8 channel pipette using the multi-dispense setting. It can also fill a 384 well plate in just under 2 minutes. It's about twice as fast as a human can work. And the OT2 never gets tired. Well, that's a brief intro to the setup and some of the basic liquid handling features of the OT2. Thanks for tuning in. As always, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any additional questions, and be sure to check out the other videos in this series. Thanks.